I built a sofa table for my Allegro Red and today I'm going to show you how to build one for your RV. Stay tuned. When we moved into the RV, I wanted it to feel like ours. I wanted to personalize it and I wanted to bring as many things in from home as possible. Obviously the RV is much smaller than our 3,000 square foot house so I had to be very selective in my choices. As you guys know, if you've seen our other videos, the first thing I did was redid the balances. Um, and the, that fabric from the balances actually was from our dining room. So that's a little piece of our home here in the RV. The next thing I did was I built a sofa table. So let me show you how I did that. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of space behind the cushions on the couch. And this is actually a part of the frame. So when I saw this, I thought immediately to myself, that's wasted space and how could I use it? Um, so I thought sofa table. So I decided to build my own. And this is the final result of my sofa table. I know it doesn't look exactly like a sofa table, but we are in an RV, so I had to condense it down just a little bit. Um, but it was very, very simple for me to make. So let's break it down for you. I built my sofa table out of a, a one by four and I didn't want a two by four because that would just be too heavy. So I got the thinnest piece that um, I thought wouldn't bow or bend. Um, I measured the length of the couch. I added two inches. That way it would accommodate the inch on each side um, for the side of the sofa table. I glued and nailed them together. And then after I did that, I stained it the color that I wanted and I put several coats of poly on there. The reason for the poly is to make sure there's no sharp spots. I didn't want it to tear the couch in case, you know, one year we decide to sell the RV. I wanted the couch to be in good shape. I also, in order to prevent any kind of rubbing or tearing of the sofa fabric, I actually added foam underneath. So this is just four inch foam I got from, I think I got it from Hobby Lobby or one of those stores. You can get them pretty much anywhere now. And I just glued them on with a, um, a craft glue. And that again is to help protect the couch. So all said and done, this was a pretty cheap project and um, it really made a big difference in the RV. So let's go check out what it looks like when I put it inside the RV. I put the sofa table back in place just so you could see it um, after it's finished. Um, I hope you try this for your RV and see if it works for you. We have it dressed up here as like a, um, a mantle for a fireplace, but you could use it also as a table if you didn't have a coffee table. It's perfect for Margarita Mondays or Beer 30, whichever one you prefer. So let me know what unique items you've put in your RV and what special touches you've added. Just drop them down in the comments below. Also, make sure you share us and um, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. So make sure you check us out there to be up to date in our current location. And thanks for watching. We'll see you on the road.